Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. Today we're going to be talking about the J Odin 3 application. This is a web based application for flashing Odin files to your Galaxy devices. Uh, previously, Odin has only been operable on Windows, but now it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and even Raspberry Pi. If you're geeky enough to know what Raspberry Pi is, then yeah, you're a pretty much a dork. But thanks to Adam Outler, we now have a way of flashing Odin files even on a Mac computer. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll be flashing an Odin file on the Galaxy Note 3 from a MacBook Pro. One thing I love about Casual and the J Odin 3 application is it basically walks you through step by step the process. So it's pretty much impossible to brick your device. Uh, that being said, you are flashing images to your phone. If you don't know what you're doing, you probably shouldn't mess with it because you very well could brick your phone. Adam states that a drawback to J Odin is that it does require a PIT file. Now, if you're shaking your head uh, wondering what a PIT file is, no worries. J Odin 3 application also will go out and grab the PIT file and make that available for you as well. So really this is the simplest way to flash an Odin file on your Galaxy device. Okay guys, so what you want to do is open up Firefox. For some reason, the Chrome browser was not supported, uh, or at least it told me it wasn't supported. So we're going to go into Firefox, and we'll search for Joden3. It'll bring you to this builds.casual-dev.com slash Joden3. I'll include a link in the description so that you don't have to go out and search for it. It's easy to find. So go ahead and open that. Let's see, if you have any trouble at all, uh, what you'll need to do is go to the Get Support. And that'll bring you to Adam Outler's, uh, it'll bring you to his original posts. And then what you'll need to do is scroll down and, okay, if, uh, like on my Mac, I was having all kind of trouble because I didn't have Heimdall installed. Uh, so you'll go here to this link and you'll install the Heimdall and then you'll reboot your computer and try again. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, make sure that you read every screen here. It's telling you this is a tool that's flashing to your Samsung device, it's not for novices. Don't use uh, two flash large files. Heimdall has a buffer problem with large files. Always obtain your files from trusted sources. And we'll go ahead and click next. Okay, so what you'll want to do is go ahead and put your phone in download mode. Okay, so for download mode, you're going to press volume down, home, and power, at least for the Note 3. Okay, once you're in download mode, it says volume up to continue, and then you'll want to plug in your USB cable. Okay, so now we see that we are connected. Uh, we'll go into the PDA and find our file. Okay, if you're having lots of trouble, you can go open in window. Oh, actually, you know what? The reason why, I bet you it's behind. Let's see, here it is. Okay, so... For some reason, it, it is opening my. It's opening the folder where I find my file on the desktop. So just kind of minimize your browser and find your file. We'll go back to Odin, and there's my file. And then we'll simply click Start. So we're doing this all from the browser, which is awesome. Uh, it says, Do you want to obtain. A PIT for you. We're going to select yes because I don't have the PIT file. Says so you'll need to restart your device in download mode. So in order to obtain a PIT file, the device will be rebooted. Once it reboots, you will need to put it back into download mode. So we'll go ahead and select OK. Okay, so it's trying to reboot the phone now. So we'll just pull the battery and put it in download mode. Volume up to continue. Plug the phone back in. Hit OK. And we'll scroll down. You see that our PIT file is there. Our image is here. And we'll click Start. PIT file was corrupt. We cannot continue without a PIT file. Please select one or let Casual do it for you. We'll let them try again. Okay, guys. So it turns out after sitting on this running screen for about five minutes, I did get on. I did get in touch with Adam Outler on Google Plus, and he did state that this is not ready for stock firmware. So if you have a large stock firmware file, this is not going to work on Joden 3. Uh, that being said, you can use recovery files, and you can use an auto-root file, uh, but that's about it, just smaller files for now. 
Hopefully he'll add support. There's a Heimdall buffering issue, so hopefully that can be corrected. I'm not sure if that's even something that is being worked on or a project that they're working on. He didn't really discuss that, but for now, uh, full firmware installs are not supported by Joden 3. Uh, but still, big shout outs for this awesome creation by Adam Outler, uh, which allows us to flash some Odin files over the browser, uh, which allows us to do it on MacBook, Linux, and uh, Raspberry Pi OSs. This video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. I'll also I do an updated video on Joden 3 if for any reason they add the ability to flash full stockware, uh, full stock firmware. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.